Members of Parliament are up in arms over President Yoram Seven's decision to reinstate former embattled permanent secretary to the Ministry of Trade, Geraldine Asali, who was previously sacked on recommendations of a parliamentary report over misappropriation of uh, Uganda shilling 6.2 billion for rehabilitation of farmers' house in a letter by the head of a civil service and secretary to cabinet, Lucy Nachobe directed the permanent secretary, Ministry of Finance, to reinstate Geraldine Sari with immediate effect. And with immediate effect, we begin the bulletin. In August 2023, Parliament adopted recommendation to sack the Permanent Secretary Minister of Trade, Geraldine Sali, over abuse of office, contrary to Section 79 of the Public Finance Management Act 2015, which includes negligence of duty. The PS Geraldine Sali be investigated with a view of prosecution by the DPP for, for offences committed under Section 79, negligence of duty, disobedience of statutory duty, abuse of office and causing financial loss. In the report, it was discovered that Sally halted the Minister of Trade's plan to rent at Kingdom House at close to 8 billion shillings annually and adopted for renovation farmer's house at 6.2 billion shillings. The report disclosed that figures were over and above the works on ground. Barely two months after Sally was replaced, members of parliament were stunned with a letter making rounds on social media in which the head of civil service and secretary to the cabinet, Lucy Nachove, while quoting an earlier communication from the president, has directed the permanent secretary minister of finance to instead Sally with immediate effect. Francis Mujuche, a member of Trade Committee and other members, have fired back asking President Museveni to walk the talk in fighting corruption. As some of us had, uh, had supported her on the decision she made to rehabilitate uh, a, a, government, a, a, a government office such that they do not rent, but the money that she was given was misused. That's what we, we wanted the president to look at. But parliament must stand and be counted on whether the oversight role that is a role of parliament still makes sense or on whether we shall go by the whims of the president of this country. The president is trying to break the back of parliament. Maybe he, he, he thought, because he, he, he thought he should be the only one to fight corruption, but we are not seeing him do it. But God Batum a governance expert, says that Parliament lost its powers long ago. Parliament is, uh, is of no consequence when it comes to the things that deal with Museveni's power. So in other words, uh, they, because you see, if Parliament had the power, uh, it, would, it would sanction. Geraldine Zali was implicated in a number of irregularities as the accounting officer in the Ministry of Trade. Alex Mugasha, Moses Namayotenwa, NBS, live at nine. It's been a while since this happened, uh, so it does make sense uh, to walk you back through some of uh, the things that were on the, well, if you may, for want of better language, the charge sheet as far as Parliament is concerned. But I'm using that very, very carefully. If you may, let me just change that to the scenes of Geraldine Sally. Let's walk you through uh, those particular ones. Uh, the irregularities include a single card made an erroneous fuel transaction to the tune of 375 million. And then as well, the ministry spent over 22 billion shillings to procure used vehicles at 600 million each. Okay, and as well, 400 million was spent on transporting files from the head office in Kampala to Entebbe stores. Then the ministry procured laptops worth 160 million and spent another 26 million to deliver those laptops to the workers at their homes. And as well, the ministry spent 5 billion shillings to renovate existing offices at Farmer's House. Those are some of the things that caused Geraldine Sari, who is now reinstated, problems with Parliament 